UK Black Wolf. Hello and welcome to another show of Cooking with the Wolf. And on today's show, I'm going to be showing you, yes you, how I carved a pumpkin. Which hopefully entails, we'll show you how to carve a pumpkin. Let's see how well I did. Hello and today I'm going to be showing you how to carve a pumpkin and make a good pumpkin for Halloween. Or if you generally want to do it just when it's not Halloween, you can do it then too. It's really up to you. Okay, I'm going to do it with two pumpkins today, so I'm going to put one to the side for now. And I'm going to start with this one. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is carve your pumpkin. Now, I would probably advise trying to draw maybe just a circle on using a whiteboard pen so it comes off easily. Uh, just to circle off right about how you want to do it. That's a terrible circle. Or you can just rub it off and do it however you want. That's giving me a rough idea anyway. Or you could just go ahead and straight in, go straight into it. So really, I'd just say, here's your pumpkin. Probably doing that wrong. There you go. Make sure you're holding the knife correctly. You can do it in any way, really, that's easiest. I find it easier just to put the knife in and take it out. Because then I can turn the knife to a slight angle to try to get that better circle. Then, once you've cut your circle out, you do want it to be slightly a big circle so you can take the ends out, but not too big. So it's got to be roughly that big. So, open your end up like that, make it like a crabby thing, and just go boom, boom. And really, that's the size you really want. So, And if you're like me, while well doing this, you might want a cup of tea. So, yeah. Okay, let's keep this going. You can go it a different way, I'm pretty sure, but I'm no chef or no professional, I'm just an amateur really, so to be honest, I only tried this once and then I did that one quite well, so I thought, you know what, let's do a video on it. Okay, once you've done that, you want to use this knife, stick it in and just pull it like this and that will do this. Then you just rough it with your hands and fail at pulling it out. There you go, and pull it out. Once you've done that bit, you can either use your hands, you can use the inner stuff to make um, other things, or you can really make whatever you want. Um, I don't have, know how to make anything with pumpkin, so just for this one, I'm just going to be throwing away the remains. So, a little bit wasteful, but just this time. Try to figure out next time to do with the remains. Okay, then once we've done that, um, you can use your spoon, your giant spoon if you have one, to either carve it out or I'm just going to try put your hand in and go like that. But that won't really work that well as I've just found. So I would advise the spoon using your hand afterwards just to scrape away the insides of carving it. So you just want to get all of this really out of it. seeding and you just scrape the spoon really I don't know if you can see just scrape the spoon around the pumpkin on the inside just to try to get the it's out and you can use your hand if you so wish if you're not using it for cooking you can if you are but it's, it's a bit like slime It's slippery. So. As you can see, I'm no professional at this. But you don't want to go too far in anyway because you don't want to break the thing itself. Okay, that is 
almost done. If you do wish to skip ahead, you can do while I fight my way through this. It can be a bit of a chore or a bit of a challenge, like a mission. You, would, you can put this stuff onto a plate and use it for um, cooking with, like, I don't know, I'm guessing, yeah, pumpkin pie, pumpkin cake, pumpkin something or other. I'm really just guessing, so. Do you have no idea, to be honest? If you know what you can make with a pumpkin in the bits, then do let me know in the comments below. And you never know, I might fight my way on trying to make something like that with the inner bits for next time. Some of them will be a lot easier to carve the inner bits out, as I've just learned. But once you get the hang of it, you should be able to do it pretty simply. I clearly haven't got the hang of it. I mean, I did it first. The first time I did it, I was like, wow. I thought a bit uh, on the inside, but wow. This was only a week ago, I think, when I started. Doing this thing, you did it so easily. A couple of minutes, boom, done. This one. This one's a little more done. So let's just make sure you've done all of that. If you are putting a candle in one of these, I would, there goes my pen, I would advise, personally, getting out all the stringy bit inside. Uh, don't know what it's called, you know, this goopy stringy stuff. The pumpkin in a really. But it's clearly up to you, personally. As I said, I'm no professional. This is only my actual second one of really doing this, so. Okay then. Alright, there's that almost done. Good job, we're almost actually done. Let's put the finished scrapies, scrape it around. Okay, just quickly take those bits off. Uh, have a quick cup of tea. There we go, in a bit all scooped out. Okay, now, moving on to the more fun of it. Make sure you do keep this bit though, don't throw it away, because you can use it to put it back on afterwards. You don't have to personally, but you can. Okay then, right, with my finger. Right, down there. Okay, for this bit, you just really want to do a bit of drawing next. I'd advise a white wood pen, because then if you muck it up, you can redo it. So I'm going to have the eyes as a bit of a triangle. And same with the other side. And then I'm going to do another triangle. Just about there. And for this mouth we're going to do the zigzag. Once we've drawn this on, now here comes the fun part of carving the pumpkin. Just have another sip of tea. Okay then, pumpkin time. Use your knife and just stick it on the drawn lines carefully, making sure it doesn't get stuck. Go from here and just 
really go around the bits that you've done with your pumpkin, drawn on. <coughs> that you just push all the way in or out and that will pop out. Now future note, do bigger eyes. Okay, future note to myself, second pumpkin coming up, we'll do bigger eyes. Depending on the size of your pumpkin or depending on the eyes you want to do or the size you can do really because you can there's no real limit to what you can really design on your pumpkin or carve. You can really carve everything out, just draw it on and carve it out. Yeah, go inward. If it does come out like this, so you can't really see in, you can always go back over and just give it a bit of a, I want your eye to pop out, if you know what I mean. There you go. So that one isn't really a best eye ever, but... So that's why I said white wood pens are always good, because you can learn from your mistakes. Just rub them out. Get a little bit bigger of a nose. So with tiny eyes, but big nose. With triangle nose. Or roughly the same size. Okay, well I'm going to want you to go there. Because we want to center the eye. Just for that one, just there. Just push you through. There we go. That way, it gives a much more nicer feeling through. So, there is your two eyes and nose. So now it's just down to the mouth really on this one. Um, when you are done, you can get one of these things, any candle I guess will do. You put it inside um, and I guess you light the candle and put it inside somehow and um, then the thing looks lights up. So I'm not sure because if you did like that you might burn yourself. Mm, okay. We'll figure that bit out. We'll figure that bit out. Okay. So again with this you already just want to follow the tracid lines. Just following the lines. You know what? I'll have a sip of tea. And there we go. Right, let's continue. Now, with doing this, you do want to make sure your knife does go all the way through. So, when I mean by that, I don't mean just a little bit, um, so it's not going all the way through. I mean, see, because it's not going through the pumpkin. You want to make sure that it goes through enough to at least go through the pumpkin so you can. Um, out the trace a bit. Ooh, too close to that. When you are doing this, I would advise to try to stay, don't really go into the other bit, so be careful of that. And if it doesn't go to plan so much, you can always try improvising, I'd say. So if you do go a bit off track, just try and make sure you don't cut into your other ones, your little cutouts. But when doing this, I would advise you to be careful when using the knife that you don't cut yourself. I would say I'm a trained professional with this, but honestly, I'm not. Although I suppose I'm close enough. I'm just an amateur, so. But I do know what I'm doing. Did it once. Although that doesn't mean I know what I'm doing, so. But, you know. Okay, right. same again. If you just do the bottom bit down here, we've done the top. Uh, as you can see there, we've cut out the top bit of this bit. We just want to do the bottom bit now. Doing again the same thing, zigzaggy. zaggy. Now, for the first time people, it doesn't matter if it doesn't go exactly to plan. It is quite good and I don't really make it a chore. It's quite fun. So... And again, you can either push through or push out. As long as you do that. So, right, I've got that bit there. 
Ah, get rid of that. Ooh, come on. I'm going to do that. Okay, then you might just want to finish it off before I do. Ah, there's your mouth. There's that. Now, you can either leave it like this, because that bit looks like pumpkin going, ah, and he's dribbling a bit. Might not be, but... Or you can just use your knife and clean it up and tidy it up a bit. But for this one, I think, you know what? It's quite good. I'll leave it like that. So, oop, there goes the skull. So we're having so much fun, um, little Bobby is running off. Right, Bob. Yeah. Okay then. Pop this one back on. And here is the first pumpkin carved out nicely. You can just rub away using your hand or a cloth of the excessed um, grow marks. Okay then. We're going to move on to our second pumpkin now. Just really. I'll show you the second one. Put this one to a side. And grab the second one. Okay, again, this one, it isn't as... I'll just grab the first one. It isn't as good as this one. This one's a nice round one. Um, this one, though, it's got a flat. A little bit like that. But we can work with that. We can work with that. It could be the face. We could use this side as a face. I'm going to use this side though. You, you can use really any side that you want. So if you get a pumpkin like this, it doesn't really matter. Um, I would have got one like this because preferably try to get a nice one like this. But um, I got these a bit late, these ones, day after Halloween. So didn't have much choice. So uh, I just thought, okay, we, 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 we can work with this. We can work with this. Okay, again, you I'll put, put this one to the side. You'll want to, again, you don't have to really, you just draw, terrible, try drawing a biggish circle, again, not too big, just again making sure, yeah, get your hand like that, like that, make a little uh, side thing, bump like that, make sure it's drawn up, dun 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 dun, perfect, if it fits in your hand like that, that's perfect, leveling it, okay, let's remove on, let's dab off like that, and there we go. Start off the first bit. Then just again, just tracing around using your knife. Oh, come here back, Bob. Again, just tracing it around. This one we might do a bit quicker because we did the first one, we'll find out. That might not all go to plan. To be honest, I didn't plan this. Went to the shop, bought a pumpkin, said, right, we're gonna make a pumpkin video. Didn't plan what we're doing, so it's a bit of it be oomphy and peely. Try this actually at work. Again, minding your hands that you don't cut your hands when doing this, so always think of safety. But if you are using this to cook with the inner bits, um, I'd advise maybe having some sort of plate and make it nice. Tidy hygiene and yep, all that. But this one, it's not used for that, so I'm just using it as that. So, again, right, once you've done that, slot your knife in, not all the way, leave it up a bit, turn it to the sides, so it lifts it up, put your knife down, grab this, and you, you could do that. Pop it out, do that, just that. Personally, I wouldn't advise doing that and go boom because you'll end up splitting the pumpkin. Or you might do, you might not, I don't know. Again, you can yank it with your hand if you are good enough. I'm not. I'm just going to scrape this into the bin. If you do end up making a mess on the floor, not too much worry, you can clear it up once you're finished. Cause, or you can clear it up straight away as soon as you've done it. Either way, clean up once you're done. If you want to. If you don't want to, don't bother. If you do, then do. It's really up to you. Personally, I'm going to clear up as soon as I'm done. So, right, there's that bit done. Just about like that. And from the last time I've learned, again, this is the inside of the pumpkin. We're just going to carve that out again. So, as you can see, we're going to have a sip of tea. Alright then, let's continue. As you can see, 
just really scrape it around. A bit like you're trying to stir really sticky. Oh, it's not sticky, but just stir it around. So you just stir it around. Spoon, you can just empty your spoon. Then back to your stirring. Well, so don't worry too much about scraping the inner bit of it because the pumpkin is quite thick. If you've got one of these thin ones, then do worry about it completely. Worry about it. But if not, don't worry about it. It's nice and thick like this. If you do scrape it, it's not a big worry. It's quite good, I would say, maybe. Hopefully. Right, anyway. Continue this. If you haven't got much strength, then do try to snag someone else to do this. But if you do, then do. But it's not all down to strength. You can do it just for fun, really. So you could say, alright, let's just do this. And you're working on this, just going, alright, I'm going to do this. Or oh, I will do this. It's really, really just fun. So it's, it's not just the bit of the pumpkin all done at the end. It's the enjoyment of trying to make one, I would say. It's fun of the adventure. So if you've never done it, do I would advise you do do try it. Let's give it a go. It's nothing new, something adventurous. And if you do muck up, it's all well, my piggy. Okay, I might just But when you do it and you're like, ugh, feel well, I feel a bit ugh. First time I did this I was like ugh. Well, not that like, like roast out, but slimy and first reactions. Yeah. Still, it is quite fun. I'm still just trying to clean this one out. If you are doing this, reach in, put it on a plate, or um, I guess there are other ways you could do it. But doing this, well. oh, come back, Bob. Bob's trying to run away. Not that scary yet. Or at all, yeah. No, if you do have any ideas of what you think that I could try to make with the pumpkin stuff for next time, um, I will just leave it in the comment below and I will have a go at trying to do it. I can't say it'd be perfect, but I actually have no idea. I could Google it. Could be an idea. Yeah, but, you know, I didn't really think of that. You don't think about things until it's too late. Oh well. But no, if you do know any ideas, then do let me know in the comments below. For another cooking with the wolf. So. Anyway. Right, once you've carved... Alright. I would say once you're done, that is not done very well. I mean, it's done, I mean, maybe 5% left. Just make sure you've got all of it. Come on. Oh yeah, and when you are doing it, you might be focusing on the inner bit, but do remember the top bit up there, because I clearly 
Once you've done that, um, you've basically carved your pumpkin. Now, if you have done a couple of these, um, or you're on your first one, your hands all slimy. My personal opinion is I wouldn't advise you cutting with a knife because it feels a bit like so. So I'll be back in just two minutes. Well, I won't be back in two minutes. Like one, I'm just going to quickly clean my hand. It won't be long. In fact, I'll fast forward. Okay, and I am back. Right, once you've cleaned your hand um, of all the pumpkin slime, um, you're right, designing this bit again. Okay, right, we, we did this one over here, like this. Now, you can do the same thing again, but I'm just going to bring him over here, or her. You can be him or her, or really anything you want them to be. Um, okay, then. We're going to do the triangle up here again. I like this bit. We're going to do that again. Much bigger than the last time. So, we're going to start there. We're going to start drawing a bigger one. Right, there you go. We'll do the same again. And then the nose, I'm going to say is the same. Just because I, I, I'm doing a tiny one. Just because I, I just like the way that it is. That became it quite well. Okay. Yeah, right, for the mouth. Right, for the mouth for this one. Right, you can do the same thing again. Um, we can do a smiley one. Woo! A bit weird, strange for Halloween, but hey, you never know. This one's happy. Yeah. Um... Do a sad one, just draw sad and trace it over. You know what? Just for the moment, we're going to do a happy one. Think. What do you think? Happy pumpkin face. Nah, it doesn't really go with Halloween, does it? Happy. Um, yeah, okay, then we're going to do this. I'm going to go down, up, we're going to do some teeth. Do one of those ones with teeth. He's going to have pointy teeth. So. Right, yep. Then we're going to do a curvy round here. Back inward. Again, pointy, straight along. You know what? Middle, middle could be blank. You know, just going along. Yeah, another pointy tooth. And along and back round. So, once you have done that, I'm going to move this one to the side a minute. Once you have done that, um, there is your design that you've drawn on your one. You've happily picked up the one that you would like. You can do the same as me, or you can do your own one. Sorry, just have a cup of tea. Um, okay then, you can grab your knife. Any knife will really do, I guess. I um, don't really know. And then again, just begin to carve into it. Again, just like I said before, make sure that your knife does go through to the other side, not just a little bit, so then you can pop out the eye, the nose, or the mouth area. Just to make don't don't get it stuck. You watch out for that bit. It might get stuck. But do make sure you trace it. I would advise, because then it would look better. Hopefully, can't guarantee that bit, but hopefully, and if everything works to plan. Sorry about that, um, had a little technical problem. I'll go back to what we've done just previously, just to rewind on what we've done so far. Done the eyes, done the nose, done that bit. 
just in case, because I'm not quite sure at the moment if it got that bit. Um, if you haven't, I do apologise for that. Slight technical problem. Um, full apologies for that bit. Right, back to this pumpkin. That shouldn't have happened. It did. I'll blame myself, don't worry. You can blame me too. Anyway, right, once you've done that, you just really want to do the other teeth in and out. In and out. I'm hoping it did record that, to be honest. I mean, otherwise I've just done this entire thing and, ooh, it hasn't done. It's like, oh no. Oh well, we'll find out. Find out when he goes to edit. Which is me, I guess. Although it doesn't really get edited, it just, I don't really know what to do. To be honest, it's like two different people. You know, one that's over here, one that's over there. Anyway, right. Again, with the teeth, you just really want to go in and out. And then carving it round. Carefully. Just trying to make sure that you do follow it. A bit like dot to dot. Then once you've joined it back up, you can either use your knife, stick it in, pull it out, use your hands, go to the other side. This one I'm going to stick the knife in and just try pulling it gently. Just so I don't break those teeth. Right, there you go. It doesn't matter if they do that. Ah, I see I broke one tooth. Yeah, I was... Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Right, I did break one tooth, so again, if you are doing this, do be careful with the teeth when you're doing it out. Because you could break your teeth. Well, I don't mean your teeth, but my teeth. I mean the pumpkin teeth. And just give it the finishing touches. Just like that. And there is this one. Ooh, successfully. Well, at least half successfully. We, we lost a tooth. It does seem to stay, surprisingly. You can do this one, um, use a little glue maybe, or something to stick it on if you want to, or it might just stay in place like that if you're lucky. Luckily in this case, I was lucky. Placing this one back onto here. Now, here are the two pumpkins, primary successfully, done one successfully, oh, a little bit went wrong. But, oh well, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong, it doesn't. You, if you are putting... If you are putting a candle in there, might have a little bit of a problem. Come on, there you come. There we go. Okay, so, again, candles. Any candle will really do. Um, just stick them in. Do make sure, though, if you are doing it, just personal thing, um, I'm just saying, make sure it's nice and cleaned out just like this one. This one, it's got a little bit of that stringy of the pumpkin. It could be a bit, you know, dangerous. So if you are doing it, this one ideal, so I don't know, pop it in there, light it. Maybe if you've got one of those long ones or pre-lit it or somehow, honestly, I don't actually know how I'm going to put this in it. Um, use the mouth. I think big enough. This one would be. If you've got one of the mouth this big, you could just light it there, lower it down, carefully using fingers. In fact, we'll find out. Let's find out now. Right, you've lit your candle. So, maybe careful. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, hold it like this, two fingers like this. Carefully lower it down. You don't actually get burned. Oh, that's surprising. I did not know that. <laughs> Ooh. Make sure your thing is a bit like that. Okay then. There is your pumpkin with a candle in. So it is quite good. It's got like a nice cool effect actually. I quite like that one. Um, you can do it with the other one so I will show you what it looks like with the other one in. Again, reaching carefully. When you are doing, make sure your hand goes round, not above the flame because you could burn yourself. So slot in and around. Again, there we go. 
carefully. Again, I don't advise this one, but it might be okay. And there is that one fully lit. So you can use two, it really doesn't matter. Um, I, have, I wouldn't put this on if I had the candle on. You could do if you wanted to. I don't, I'm not a professional, I don't actually know. But there is how you carve a pumpkin, really. You just cut open, scoop out, draw, design, boop, da 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 da, you're done. Simple as that. Thank you for watching this video, and I hoped you'd enjoy. Pardon me, and I hope you enjoyed. You want to put it up? Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Wow, wasn't that an interesting two pumpkins? Hmm. Uh, well, one was perfectly done, the other one lost a tooth. Toothy gone. Anyway, what a great show that was. If you enjoyed that video as much as I did, click that like button to let me know you liked this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to see more videos just like this one. You never even know, maybe even better. And don't forget, if you have any ideas on what I could do next time with the insides of the pumpkin, you never know, make this pumpkin thing, then do let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.